We offer this morning's Eucharist for blessings for Ko Chong and family in thanksgiving for prayer answered by Helen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The invitation to work in the vineyard. The invitation to respond to God's call. For at times we may have failed to listen to the voice of the shepherd. To work in the vineyard. Let us seek his mercy and forgiveness as we prepare our hearts for this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, in what, in what I've done, done in what and what I failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to forgive what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. You must have heard of my career as a practicing Jew, how merciless I was in persecuting the Church of God, how much damage I did to it, how I stood out among other Jews of my generation, and how enthusiastic I was for the traditions of my ancestors. Then God, who had specially chosen me while I was still in my mother's womb, called me through his grace and chose to reveal his son in me so that I might preach the good news about him to the pagans. I did not stop to discuss this with any human being nor did I go up to Jerusalem and see those who were already apostles before me. But, but, but I went off to Arabia at once and later went straight back from there to Damascus. Even when after three years I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and stayed with him for 15 days, I did not see any of the other apostles. I only saw James, the brother of the Lord, and I swear before God that what I have just written is the literal truth. After that, I went to Syria and Cilicia and was still not known by sight to the churches of Christ in Judea, who had heard nothing except that their one-time persecutor was now preaching the faith 
he had previously tried to destroy. And they gave glory to God for me. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lead me, O Lord, in the path of eternal life. Lead, Lead me, O Lord, in the path of life eternal. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Lead, Lead me, O Lord, Lord, in the path of life eternal. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Lead, Lead me, O Lord, Lord, in the path of life eternal. Already you knew my soul. My body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth. Lead me, O Lord, in the path of life eternal. According to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, to you o, Lord. o Lord. Jesus came to a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to him speaking. Now Martha, who was distracted with all the serving, said, Lord, do you not care that my sister is leaving me to do the serving all by myself? Please tell her to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, he said, you worry and fret about so many things, and yet a few are needed. Indeed, only one. It is Mary who has chosen the better part. It is not to be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning we step into the house of Mary and Martha in Bethany. Two wonderful women, disciples of Jesus. And as I step with you into the house of Mary and Martha today, we take to heart the journey of our Christian life in the vineyard, working in the vineyard. We find this whole expression in this week, working in the vineyard. I would like to invite you this morning to sit with two words that I would like to share with you. Working for God and doing God's work. Working for God and doing God's work. There's a whole contrast between these two words. Many a times we find all of us find ourselves working for God just like Martha in the ministries that we are in the parish, in the hospitality areas of our life. We are doing so much in working for God, but very, very seldom do we find ourselves doing what God wants us to do. And when you find this tension between these two pillars of working for God and doing God's work, you find yourself restless at many times. Martha was struggling with that. She found herself in a moment 
when she realized there was a lot of agitation, anger, bitterness, envious, jealousy, resentment, and she went up to Jesus and says, can't you see that I'm alone? And she was not only angry with Jesus, but with her sister. Many a times we could find ourselves in such situations where we find ourselves in a, in a moment of restlessness in working for God. Jesus told Martha, there's only one thing you need, and that is to work for God. And Mary has found the better part. This beautiful experience of Martha and Mary, you see it in Paul. Paul in his letter to the Galatians says, what happened in my past and what I'm doing now? I was a Jew. I was a merciless Jew. And I was persecuting everyone I could find until I found the Lord. And my life changed on the road to Damascus in Arabia with Kephas. And now I know what God is doing in my life. Instead of working for God, I'm now doing what God wants me to do. My dear sisters and brothers, as we continue in this whole discernment of the vineyard, stay with the responsible psalm today. Stay with the words of the responsible psalm. Lord, lead me. Lead me, Lord, to the path of life eternal. Search me, O Lord, and know my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the right path. And that is what Mary discerned today. Not just to work for God, but to do what God asks of us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be, be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands. And through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of eternal life and manifest the resurrection. And so, Father, with angels and saints, we declare glory and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, Father, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, with confidence we pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him.
let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Let us now recite the prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful, merciful Father, source, source of healing, healing cast, cast the light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless, bless them, protect them, them and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that we will make them equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.